We're going to start with a shocking, unprovoked attack in Brooklyn. A deli worker stabbed by a stranger who had a screwdriver, and he has no idea why he was targeted. News 4's Erica Byfield live in Fort Greene with more on the suspect that is still on the run, Erica. Yes, he is, David. So that worker was telling us that this just happened out of the blue. He says he was outside in front of the store stocking all the produce like you see here behind me. All of a sudden, he felt a pain on his arm. He says today is his first day back on the job, and he's nervous. Disturbing surveillance shows the attacker sneaking up, swinging a screwdriver, stabbing a grocery store worker in the right arm. What the f that's crazy. The injured Mr. Mango employee is back at work with a white bandage on his arm. He's scared that his attacker is on the loose and asks us not to show his face. He didn't say anything. Nothing, nothing. Just come. I'm going to punch me. That's it. The Wednesday attack off of Fulton Street and Lafayette Avenue in the heart of Fort Greene has police looking for this man. That day he had on a dark shirt and dark pants and slippers. The worker told us he's never seen him before. I don't know why. I don't know who is this guy. I never see this area. Never. Neighbors we showed the video to don't recognize him either. Now they're demanding an arrest. I think it's very horrible and you know, people should be able to work without fearing for their safety. That doesn't really happen like that over here. Crime escalating all over. People have to protect themselves. Crime statistics for the 88th precinct where the store is shows that assaults are up 15% year to year, while the latest numbers say that robberies are up almost as much at 14%. The manager of Mr. Mango believes it. He gave us this video of a robbery earlier this month, telling us that one of the masked criminals had a gun, the other one a knife. They took cash but thankfully that employee wasn't hurt, unlike the man who was stocking produce this week. It's a little bit nervous because you don't know how we see somebody come again, right? He told us he's pushing aside those fears because he needs the money. I'm not too okay, but I have to work because, you know, the rent is coming and, every, you know, it's, how, it's why I have to work. The police are telling us that man with the screwdriver was last seen racing off towards Fort Greene Park. In Brooklyn, Erica Byfield, News 4, New York.